Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is Citizen A. We're reviewing the week with bloggers Cam Slater and broadcaster Professor Collins. Issue three this week. Yes, we can't. Americans blame Obama for Bush's economy. What does this bode for John Key's change brand? And does Hillary visiting suggest they are jealous of China? Cam, it's about the economy, isn't it, stupid? If the economy keeps bleeding and we had our first drop in the number of businesses for the first time in nine years last week, then punters blame the incumbent government regardless, right? That's correct. That, that, that is what happened, and this is also uh, a case of uh, somebody, a government, being elected in the, in the United States on nothing but slogans. Mm -hmm. And you scratch those slogans away, there's nothing underneath. And that's what Americans have been voting on, that there's nothing underneath, that TARP has not delivered. Uh, all that did is, is pay that, off is that billions fair, and billions hold of it, dollars. Hold it. Is that fair, though? He was facing the worst economic crisis since 1929. The hole—it's a black hole. It's a black hole, isn't right. it? And what they've been able to put to, to put there has slowed that black hole down. But they need much more but where did amendments the money go? to their economy, don't where they? Where did the money go? It went to the finance companies, yep. just like it has here. Yep. It went to uh, corporate America. Yep. It hasn't provided jobs. No, it hasn't. It, it hasn't put a BMW or a Cadillac in the car of the That's of because the, pool, the problem is the so the huge. It's, it's a genuine crisis of capitalism, isn't it? It's, no, I don't believe it's a crisis of capitalism. It's a crisis of politicians not having the guts to say that it, there's no such thing as too big to fail. Sometimes you have to have things fail. Is this the reason why National are going to go early in the polls next year? Because of the economy? I'm not sure they will go early. June? I said, I said, well, you're saying June, but I haven't heard anything other than uh, a November election. Really? Um, are, you out, are you that much out of the loop now? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I'm well carded. Well carded. Well carded. Well carded. If, if you promise, you have to deliver. So yes. that lets John Key off the hook, right? Because all he's promised is smile and wave. Yeah, absolutely. And that's it's all he's it, very, very good, good at, at it, it. John yeah, Key. Very good at it. I don't know what's going on in the country at the moment, hey? what, whatever's happening with mainstream media. Because John Key seems to have the support that just will not waver. You know, Phil Goff is languishing yeah. in the polls there. Yeah. And John an Key's man. out there and he's, you know, he just needs to wave. And everyone just says, oh, we're really forgiving. I don't know that the country will put up with it after the next election. I'm actually no. calling a national win at the next uh -huh. election. So we'll call it early now so that Labour can reorganise itself and make itself strong enough for the for yeah. the following election. But John Key's getting away with that lovely smile and everyone just thinks, you know, let's trust him. He's the business Especially boy that's come into politics and is Prime Minister yeah. and now he's going to move in and, and people just feel safe with him. I, I, you know, look at the job summit that we had. What, 30 odd jobs have that come out bollocks. of that? Goodness. Yeah, it was, wasn't that, was, that, wasn't that a joke? Wasn't yeah, that that a was joke. bollocks. It yeah, was. was a talk fest. Helen Clark made the same mistake of doing, doing that her first term. She had the big jobs summit. We're going to do all of this. Yeah, but she actually got jobs. Uh, yeah, Cam, yeah, Hillary is here and has just announced the new Pacific base in Fiji. Have they noticed the Chinese encroachment and are they here to counter it? You've been, you, this being a, a, a hobby wars of yours. You can't fail but notice it. If, yeah. you, if you're aware of Pacific politics, uh, what's happening in the Pacific is China has, has taken over the Pacific Mm. Uh, they don't need to fight in a war with anybody. Yep. They've got dollars, yep. and it's all America's mm. dollars. Yeah. Uh, and they replaced the vacuum uh, that was left when Australia and New Zealand and, and the rest of the world abdicated, abdicated its responsibility to the Pacific, said, isn't you know, it? Said, oh, well, you've had a coup, so we're not going to talk to you until you go back to a racist um, constitution. Uh, and, and we insisted on that. We, we never, ever offered anything to assist them yep. in rebuilding the constitution. We never offered to assist them in how to even conduct something as simple as a census, mm. which hadn't been done for 10 years. How can you have an election without a census? Yep. Uh, these simple things that we have skills in that we could so easily have helped Fiji with, uh, we just put our hands up and said, no, we're not talking to you. Yep. And we're doing the same with Samoa, and we're mm. doing the is, same is, with China. Are the, are the Americans and also concerned about China's influence well, China in New Zealand? They're right. looking at natural dairy, and they're saying, hey, 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 what's this well, about? China's got all the money. Yep. At the end of the day, and I hate that saying, but at the end of the day, it comes down to dollars. And we might complain about uh, Chinese companies wanting to invest in New Zealand, but no one else's. Efeso, if New Zealand is the new Cold War front between China and America, what do we need to do to keep America happy while we flirt with Beijing? Will the first act of whoever is Prime Minister next year be saying yes to a ship visit from Washington? Well, isn't that interesting, eh? Because I know that there was some talk within National, eh, about what, what the, you know, why are we still harping on about this nuclear-free mm. policy? It's probably time to end. But just on the point about the Pacific, yeah, China have been there for a long time. China's currently rebuilding Samoa's 
um, Parliament buildings and and the new courthouses. Yep. So the they've been there. And yeah, the port. And, and the um, yeah, yeah, and mm. and the wharf. So th they've been there for a long time. They're in Tonga. They're probably responsible for the Princess Ashika uh, yep. disaster, and yep. they've been in Fiji for a long time. So I think the Americans are pretty, are, are starting to wonder now. What have we got to do about China? And mm. New Zealand, well, I don't know, you, the Pacific don't really care about New Zealand much anymore because the New Zealand aid money that goes to, to the islands go, goes back to right. consultants that are all based in New Zealand. Right. So the money right. doesn't actually right. do anything. Right. Right. So they're right. saying, oh, look, we're giving millions of dollars to yeah. Samoa. Money never makes it and to Samoa. And all we That's do is wag our finger and tell them how to run Absolutely. their countries. Yeah. Like what we've been yeah. doing to Fiji. Exactly. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Uh, both of you, who wins, who loses with the electoral results in America? Uh, well, clearly the Democrats have, have taken a bit of a pasting. Yep. They've completely lost the um, the House. They've held on to the Senate. Um, Harry Reid is marginalised. He yep. took a big pasting as well. He yep. still won, yeah, but, yeah, yeah. but uh, mm. his credibility is shot yep. to hell. Um, and Obama is in serious trouble now and trying to put through um, whatever platform he's got. What do, you, what do you think? Oh, I feel for Obama because I, yeah, I think the Democrats have, have lost out big time this time yeah. round, And uh, it's going to make Obama's... Um, work trying to get some of these reforms through. It's going to make it all the harder because he's lost Congress, you know, yeah. so he's going to struggle. As for the next election, he's got two years. Can he come back? I don't know. I'm not sure that this would be possible. Well, I think, I, think, I, think, I, think, I think, you know, 12 hours after the election result, I'm astounded that the new House of Representatives Republican majority hasn't fixed America's problems yet. Uh, <laughs> now, now it's their yeah. fault, right? Yeah. Now yeah. it's their Absolutely. fault. Absolutely. Yeah. You've got two years to fix it. Yeah. You come up with the ideas. <laughs> what are you going to cut? What are you going to... And those crazy green no. tea yeah. nutters yeah. Aren't gonna, they're all they about burning down people, the entire Congress. People don't look at, the, at Congress and who controls Congress. They look at who the president is because that's where policy comes from. Mm. Uh, lawmaking comes from the president, devolves that to the, to the House. It doesn't matter that the Republicans are there. Obama's still going to take the blame. Well, it's, it's, it's a, it's a, that's pure we'll, politics. We'll, we'll, that's how it is. Let's wrap the show with the last word. Cam, your last word this week is? Well, it's Movember at the moment. Um, everyone knows through my blog that, uh, that, that I'm a person who suffers through depression. Mm. Uh, I encourage people to support Movember. Uh, if you can't grow a moustache yourself, at least get on, on there and find any number of uh, Kiwis that are out there growing moustaches and have got their... Uh, Got, got their uh, the things there. People have got to remember that depression isn't about feeling a little mm. bit sad. Uh, right? Even tough people get it. Yes. Uh, John Kerwin, classic case. Um, uh, I'm no sook, and, and, and it got me. So yep. um, Movember's a, a real big thing for me. Sometimes you just need a hug. Uh, not from you, Bomber. Professor, your <laughs> final word? I think South Auckland's here to stay. I think the results that came out in the Auckland election are a clear indication that Māori Pacifica, South Auckland, and, and in pockets of West Auckland, there are people who are saying, look, we want to be heard now. We're sick and tired of being the people that say, oh, there's all the problems in South Auckland. If we could, let's annex them and get them rid of, uh, of, of the Auckland part. But I think Māori and Pacifica people are saying, all right, where, where do we get the chance to talk? And I think Len's got to do a lot of work in ensuring that we get some voice around that council. Thank you very much, uh, Cam. Thank you, Afeso. Ladies and gentlemen, to my final word, once private prisons with their profit motive are allowed to warp social policy, it is almost impossible to force them out. Who funds the Sensible Sentencing Trust? We know that the GEO Group, who are pitching here in New Zealand, are major lenders and money men of the American Legislative Council, a Washington DC think tank that lobbies for tough on crime legislation and free market principles such as privatisation. These think tanks whip up the public debate to scream pitch and the knee-jerk politicians do the rest. In New Zealand, the Sensible Sentencing Trust refuses to disclose who funds them. Do you fund these groups overseas? Do they do it here? Has the Sensible Sentencing Trust been funded by GEO to push for longer sentences? Because the only people who really benefit from the three strikes locked up forever raw meat law and order policy that was hypocritically rammed through by the Sensible Sentencing Trust David Garrett is the private prisons about to pick up the contracts to our ever-increasing incarceration rates. We got played like chumps over the manufactured crisis of The Hobbit and we've been manipulated again into accepting private prisons. If the mainstream media weren't so focused on reporting the death of a psychic octopus, they might ask these questions. On next week's Citizen A, Cam returns and is joined by blogger Tim Selwyn to review the week's events. If you like tonight's show, please join our Citizen A Facebook site and connect with other like-minded new citizens. Thanks for watching Aotearoa. Good night. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand.